everybody. It's Claire Paris with Paris Group Realty in Portland, Oregon. And today on our Dear Claire series, um, we're talking about what questions do I ask an agent when I'm interviewing them? And this is both for buyers and for sellers. Um, so I'm going to start with a couple of um, just kind of basic stuff. So, um, so you know, most agents, and this is nationwide, typically only do six transactions a year. As you can imagine, that is not a full-time job. Um, and this position, this career is very complicated. There's a lot to know and things change pretty rapidly. So I would say the most important thing is, do you do this for a living? Is this your primary occupation? How long have you been doing this? Um, of course, everyone's got to start somewhere, but especially in this market where it's very difficult to get things into contract and it's much more complicated, you're going to want someone with good experience. Um, let's see. Oh, number two, can I have any personal testimonials? So for us personally, we have a bunch of reviews online on HomeLight and Zillow and on our website, um, and they're kind of everywhere available, but I've even had clients in the past say, hey, can I talk to somebody? Would you mind passing on their contact info so I can talk to them? Um, and usually they will. So I'm happy to provide you with um, clients' contact information, of course, with their permission. I'm not going to be giving away people's contact information without their permission. Um, but I've done that before and it actually works out really well. Um, it's nice to talk to another human and know that, hey, there is someone else alive that's worked with you recently um, that can vouch for you. Um, process. What does the process look like? So mostly you're going to find all kinds of things about the process. You're going to want someone who understands this process specific to that area. Um, so that means, you know, weird property tax information, like for Oregon, it's got weird property tax stuff, and Washington's got reconveyance fees, and you know, there's all kinds of things that are specific to an area, so you're going to want someone, again, with good experience and with knowledge that they can help you navigate all the pitfalls that you normally would have. Um, Pre-approval process, usually most, um, most agents on the buying side are going to have a lender that they recommend that you should work with and um, that person should be um, competent. <laughs> um, typically I give three different um, lenders um, just because you know some people jive differently with different people um, as far as personality goes and you know pattern of speech and all of that. So. Um, you should feel comfortable. That's going to be the primary thing. You want to feel comfortable and that you can ask questions and not feel put out by the questions that you ask. Um, oh yeah, that's a good one. How many people have you helped or how many transactions have you done? Again, most of this is going to have to do with um, how long they've been in the business and how successful they've been. Um, you know, you could have somebody that's been in the business for 10 years and has done 10 transactions. That's not very good. <laughs> um, and there is, I mean, that's the one thing um, from a career standpoint for real estate that's pretty cool um, because there are a lot of people that just do one or two transactions a year and maybe they do it so that their family gets um, more of a discount or um, they just like doing it on the side. And I'm not knocking those people at all, but in a market that's this difficult to navigate, ideally you're going to want a professional that's been in it for a long time and understands what's going on. Um, oh, I know what, on the buyer side and on the seller side, um, both of those often people will ask, how long is this going to take? <laughs> so, um, you're going to want somebody that has that data for you. So both in the market specifically, and then also for them personally. So they're typically going to be able to give you an average days on market an average, um, list to, um, list price to sale price ratio, um, all that fun stuff on the selling side. And then on the buyer side, I actually keep track of my um, 
data. So I know how many offers it usually takes to get somebody in contract or how long it typically takes them to find a home. Um, my timeline is usually between three and six months. So it just depends on um, the agent and how well versed they are and how much data they keep on themselves. So it's all that, that at least in a nutshell are some good simple questions to ask to give you a clear picture of who you're going to be working with. Um, and of course, I'd be happy to answer any of these questions for you. I feel like I have answered them for you in this um, in this video. But if you have any additional questions, I'm always happy to to engage in the conversation and let you know anything else you might wonder about real estate. Of course, comment below if you have any um, experience you'd like to talk about. Or if you have any questions for us, I'm always here. I would be happy to answer them for you. I hope you have a great afternoon. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.